Mrs. Walker, we've been through this before. Now, I am not a prowler. I am not a bartender. I am not the black guy from Designing Women. I am your lawyer. And maybe if you'd stop bobbing for olives for half a minute, you might remember that. You're kind of hot. Then to set Karen Walker. I know, Mrs. Walker. Oh, yeah, I remember you. Stan and I met you at the Whitney opening. You were the bartender. <laughs> no, you just gave me your drink order. Yeah, and I'm still waiting for it. <laughs> Good news, Will. Jackie! Angie! Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Jack, what are you doing? Truman, come on. It's two men kissing. Don't get so uptight. It, it's not that. It's just... When did Earth and Airhead unite as one? <laughs> Shalou, do you think you're the only one who uses this office? <laughs> hey, Grace. Hello, Mr. Doucette. Ooh, ice, ice, baby. <laughs> okay, Ben, I know we've had our differences in the past. I decorated your place. You didn't like it. You're crazy. You didn't want to pay. I sued. I won. <laughs> but who even remembers all that? Hmm. Who, indeed? <laughs> what I'm saying is, I am perfectly willing to put it all behind us. If you will just give me a simple, I'm sorry. That's all. A little gesture. So, Will, <laughs> this is your lucky day. I found someone I think you should go out with. Hell, take him. Uh, no, no, no. I, I don't know. Blind dates. Nah, nah, trust me. He's perfect for you. Hell, take him. <laughs> S slow down there, Trigger. Look, what, what makes him perfect? He's gay. I'll take him. <laughs> You're fixing me up with a guy just because both of us are gay? As I said, I'm past all this. I'm just giving you the opportunity to clear your conscience. <laughs> Little, tiny, two words. Here's his card. <laughs> He's an old poker buddy of mine. Call him. What, you want to be celibate the rest of your life? Thank you. <laughs> Ben, it's not that I don't appreciate it. It's just that it's a little weird. You're my boss. It makes me feel kind of obligated. Good. <laughs> See you, Jackie. Living you, loving you, living you. Grace, always a pleasure. Wow. The man cannot let go of anything. <laughs> Cleaned up, showered, exfoliated, powdered lipstick, gucci and dragged in. Karen Walker. You know, I thought I saw a waiter out front weeping. <laughs> now it all makes sense. Oh, honey, look at you in a yacht club. It's weird. It's, it's kind of like seeing you in a yacht club. <laughs> Well, you might want to get used to it, Karen, darling, because you'll be seeing a lot more of me around here. <laughs> so, I, uh, I noticed they redid the floors in the bridge room. Touch me. What did you say? What? Nothing. What did you think I just said? Fondle me. Mrs. Walker, you're not fooling anyone. Well, I'm not trying to fool anyone. Take me. That's not even subtle. What? What is it? Touch me, fondle me, take me. Well, oh, well. Aren't you a dirty bird? <laughs> but all right. <laughs> uh, I think I'll go say hello to your husband. You remember him, the one you married in sickness and in wealth? I'll be right back, baby. So we're at this dim sum restaurant downtown, and they have this thing called Bao. Yes, I know like what Bao is. I spent the summer at the Culinary Institute in Hong Kong. Personally, I prefer Haga. Okay, not the point of the story. Anyway. <laughs> so she decides to have some fun with the waiter. So she says, what are these white puffy things? And he says, Bao. So I do. <laughs> 
Okay, but what are they called? Bow. Okay, but what are they called? Bow! <laughs> she said it like five or six times. <laughs> It was a very funny story. I guess the humor was derived from two things. One, that the two words sounded the same. Two, that you made fun of someone who doesn't speak English very well. Funny people think it's funny. Really? How would you know? You know what, Benjamin? What do you want me to say? Bow wow? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Now, don't make me turn this car around or we're going home without ice cream. Not to bruise the lettuce. You gotta treat the salad like a lover. Gently. Sensually. <laughs> Are you getting it? Oh, I'm getting something, honey. <laughs> hmm. Doesn't look like much of a salad to me. Where's the arugula? <laughs> Where's the radicchio? Where's the Rwanda? Jack, one of those isn't a salad ingredient so much as a war-torn country in Africa. Duh, I sponsor a kid in arugula. Hi, Ben. Salad's done, the risotto is cooking. Let's talk wine. Karen, you have any preference? Honey, I'd suck the alcohol out of a deodorant stick, so you're asking the wrong gal. <laughs> Karen, are you saying you don't care about the wine? No, honey. I was just flirting with you. <laughs> Mrs. Freeman, nice to meet you. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's for the tux. Uh, well, I'm going to a dinner. They're honoring African-Americans who run big-time law firms in New York City. Huh. It's being held in a phone booth on the Upper East Side. <laughs> at the same phone booth where they held the gays for Buchanan rally? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Doucette needs to speak with you. I need to speak with you, Will. <laughs> Let me get your chair. As you know, Will, <laughs> different firms have different ways of making their new employees feel welcome. Some give you a muffin basket, some give you a briefcase. Here at Doucette and Stein, we give you one week to make me not regret hiring you. And to do that, you need to bring in a major client, one whose name is on one of those buildings out there. And if you succeed, well, that's how junior associates become senior associates. And if I don't? That's how junior associates become Carl's junior associates. <laughs> you have till Friday, Will. Friday. Yeah. It, like in Friday? No, Friday like in Thursday, but I'll give you till Friday. <laughs> this, this is a little, I mean, the, you know, last week I was, I was the guy you had to have. I was the guy with heart. That was the honeymoon, Will. <laughs> Honeymoon's over. Good times, though, huh? <laughs> This strikes me a, 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 as a tad unfair. Let me tell you a little story, Will. Years ago, when I was a young associate, not unlike yourself, I went to a bar one night, and there were these two beautiful women there. I couldn't decide which one to ask out, so I took a chance and asked them both. Turned out to be one of the best nights of my life. <laughs> and that relates how? It doesn't. I just love telling that story. <laughs> one week, Will, and don't waste any more of your time listening to pointless stories. <laughs> how you doing, Truman? Hi, Will. <laughs> what can I do for you? Oh, I was just looking for the Blumen file, but, uh, hey, Mr. Blumen can wait one more day in a Turkish prison, never hurt anybody. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll get it for you. It's in my office. You want to cut in? Oh, no, thank you. I'd rather not. Oh, come on, cut in. This lady's got to dance. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, sweetheart. You too, Grace. <laughs> Wanna go for a ride on my boat? Oh, 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 you know, this isn't the time. <laughs> no, I mean my actual boat is docked in the harbor. Oh, maybe later. Look, I need you to do something for me. Anything, baby. I need you to hit on Karen. Please tell me you said I need you to put a hit on Karen. <laughs> Look, well, I don't know how it works in a gay relationship, but let me tell you how it works with me. 
Say I go out with a woman. Now, right away, you know she's attractive, but I mean stunning. She's having a fantastic time. Why wouldn't she? Look at me. Does it hurt your back to kiss your own ass like that? You get one of those a year, Will. Hey, mm -hmm. I just want to say something. Yeah? I am so glad we're back together. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that, I've been giving it some thought. I think it would be best for me if we stopped seeing each other. Wait, what are you talking about? Well, come on, Grace. I mean, we're not in love, so I'm ending this. No, but you... Oh, oh, all right, I get it. I see what's going on here. Okay, okay. Well, guess what? what? I don't accept it. <laughs> well, that's immaterial, because I'm breaking up with you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. <laughs> Look, I've been pushed around enough about this. I know what I want, and I want you, and we're staying together, and there's nothing you can say to change my mind. Grace. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Grace. Mm. Just for the record, I broke up with you. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. Good morning, Truman. Ooh, 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 I had a great night last night. If anybody asks, I was with you. <laughs> so? Look, Ben, I... I tried my hardest. I, I did every, You have no idea what I've been through. But I... Please, put all the details in a memo, which I won't read. <laughs> I stopped by to congratulate you. Karen Walker signed the papers this morning. And for future reference, this is my happy face. <laughs> Car Karen? Karen's here? your mouth. You look like you're missing a chromosome. <laughs> Good job, Will. Mrs. Walker, always a pleasure. Anything we can do to help? Yeah, I'm still waiting on that drink. <laughs> Something tells me you haven't been waiting. <laughs> All right. Can you do this? just about enough. I can't take any more of this because you have shamed me here today. And now it is my turn to shame you. <laughs> now, there's one thing I know. I know I can do better than you. Really? What's that? Tap dance. <laughs> you think so, huh? Oh, yeah. I must warn you, I've studied with Tony Wing, the Chinese Fred Astaire. <laughs> Prepare to be amazed. Karen, count me off, please. Five, six, seven, eight. You have it all over me. I fold. Wise man. <clears throat> now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the little girl's room. <laughs> what? Are you kidding, honey? Five, six, seven, eight. toasting about? Your victory, honey. Oh, thank you. Look, Ben, don't be so hard on yourself, okay? Took me years to get that good. 